Do you feel that a Gamergate 2 is on the horizon? The men's issues discourse seems like a potential warning sign. I think this is it. It's literally happening right now. It's not specifically about gaming, but it's it's like a this the same situation of like the the massive overpresence of the right on social media as a product of the, the, the perception that the left's cultural presence is like destroying something that men hold dear. Like, it's, it's, we're basically, it's like rhyming, you know? And it might end up being like a gaming thing specifically, eventually, but I feel like we're, we're hitting on the, on the right note. Why is it every big Twitch streamer ends up having a scandal either about them or adjacent to them? Um, I've talked about this, I talked about this before with the, uh, Smash Bros pedophilia controversy. You just, you, it's, you got a ton, a ton of young people who are super wealthy, and you have a bunch of people who fucking worship them, like, all around. And, and you don't have any of the, like, I don't know, legitimizing systems that might calm things down a little bit. That might come with rapid growth in some other groups. I don't even know if that's true, man. Because, like, athletes fucking everyone. You once said you were happy Total Biscuit died because of his contribution to Gamergate. Do you still feel the same? What a weird coincidence. I talked about this yesterday. No, no, I think I made that comment way too hastily. I can understand, like, I think it was Brianna Wu who was saying, like, after he died, like, this guy led to so much harassment against me, and I said I could sympathize with that, given how much shit she got, and how Total Biscuit contributed to it. But I think earlier, what I said yesterday was that, like, even if Total Biscuit did a shitty thing there, it's pretty dumb to summarize him just to that. Like, no room for growth or change or whatever. It's like, oh, he did this thing, therefore, like, I'm glad he's dead. That's That was pretty dumb of me. I, I definitely said that back when I was a little bit less thought out in terms of my my sort of like reflexive attitudes towards people. And since his death, I've watched more of Total Biscuit's stuff and I've thought of him more as a complete person rather than just like the guy who did that one bad thing. And it's it's way I you know, and now looking back, I couldn't I couldn't justify that that position. Like, yeah, I'm crazy, he's dead, you know, I it, it's dumb so. Anyway, yeah, in terms of the like right wing media fucking over critique thing. The, the when lefties start defending bad media because like I guess the most recent example for me would be um, lefties acting like Black Ariel in The Little Mermaid is some kind of like progressive step forward or whatever I don't know The Last Jedi Oh yeah dude why do they try Why do some lefties Man H Bomber guy is such a fucking contrarian I love him Total Biscuit would have been incredibly progressive if he had lived through the Trump presidency He would have stood behind Steph Sterling today as he stood back then yeah, I kind of think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I can't, I can't really fathom Total Biscuit defending Trump or even like enabling Trump voters. I mean, it's not impossible, but he would have had to like change his character a lot. I think. Yes, he would. Dude, I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. Doesn't diversity in media have inherent value in that it makes chuds angry? That's definitely one of the, uh, one of the perks. There was a controversy when his wife voted for Jill Stein. He publicly shat in her, calling her a dumb fuck who voted Trump in. He apologized for doing it publicly. No one in gaming back then hated Trump quite as much. God damn. To, to be fair, fuck Jill Stein. <laughs> nah, fuck, fuck the Green Party, dude. The Green Party... Dude, I, the Green Party's literally just like a fucking Russian op, man. Fuck them. They literally just exist to Have weaken... Have you drawn anything as of late? No, not in a long time. Unfortunately, they they literally just exist to weaken political advocacy in this country. They can do nothing good. They do nothing good. So like most green parties, I think they're like uniquely bad. I don't know. Gotcha. What blows my was. mind is that all of the remakes from Disney have massive Chekhov's gun problems. Belle becomes an engineer, doesn't engineer herself out of problem. Well, I think Lindsay Ellis said it best, where all these live action Disney remakes are created to address criticism of the originals but in a very stupid way where it's like you know people say beauty and the beast is, is chauvinistic so we'll make her more like woke and smart and cooler but then like uh, like sort of paradoxically by by not doing anything with her intelligence and making her you know fall for an even less sympathetic guy because the beast is written worse it, it's actually more chauvinistic by far than the uh, than the original was so they worsen the problem considerably, because they're soulless fucking cash grabs, and, you know. Yeah. Very successful cash grabs. They make so much money. Not really, no one criticized me Laundry Lion King. 
Uh, well, with Mulan specifically, they made it for Chinese propaganda. The Mulan live-action movie is just Chinese propaganda. Literally, that's it. There is basically no relationship between the cartoon movie Mulan and the live-action movie, except for premise of woman fakes being a man to get in Chinese army to fight the Huns. That's really it. In terms of, like, the actual themes and everything, there's no relationship at all between them. Kind of the opposite. In, in the Mulan cartoon movie, she's very good at what she does because she's unconventional and thinks outside the box, which is the point. She's a woman fighting in an army that doesn't allow for women. It's, it's by defying social conventions that she finds her strength. Whereas in the Mulan live-action movie, she's strong because she's literally just genetically good at fighting. That's not a joke, like, she's just naturally good at fighting. So therefore, in the movie Mulan, it makes total sense for her to be a soldier. And she does fit within the existing order, because her fucking Super Saiyan power level is higher than most people's, and therefore she's a good soldier. It has nothing to do with her innovative abilities or anything like that. In the Mulan cartoon, she basically never wins a fight, like, directly, you know? Like, she gets strong when she when she trains, you know, let's get down to business to defeat Hans, whatever. It's not like she's a bad fighter at all, but she doesn't win her fights that way. It's always by doing something unconventional. When she fires the mortar at the mountain, when she um, disarms Shun Yu and then fires the firework at him by tricking him up on the roof, Literally the whole point, let's go down to business. Yeah, yeah, it is literally the whole point, you know. So the moral is be strong like a man and you can fit in. That's so sexist and polite. No, literally, yeah. It's like, ah, well, if you were a woman, you'd be a bad soldier. But you were a woman with a high power level. So actually it's okay. And that's literally the fucking point. The romance towards the end of the animated Mulan was pretty unnecessary and phoned in. It's Well, it's kind of funny because it's reversed, right? Normally the trope is that if the guy does well in the movie, his reward is to get the girl, but Mulan does well, so her reward is to get the guy, the the very hot, um, actually I forget his name, the captain? I don't know, I guess it's kind of funny in like a gender flip sense, but apart from that, Bishan? Oh. It's funny in like a gender flip sense, but apart from that, I agree it's an unnecessary element. I think it would have been a lot nicer if they'd been friends or something, you know, like like wet veteran friends. Oh, Shang? Oh, Bai is in Bai. Okay, Shang, got you. Yeah, Lenora 13, I never saw any of the sequels to Mulan. I've never seen any sequels to any Disney animated film because, like, straight to fucking video cash grabs probably aren't that good.